Continuing coverage tonight on the proposed Mobile River Bridge in Bayway and the mood in a meeting tonight, not good. Mm -mm. People not happy about what they could have to pay to cross the bridge. State representatives getting an earful at that meeting tonight. Our Tyler Fingert live in Foley where it just wrapped up. Tyler, tell us what went on there. Yeah, they were talking tolls, Lenise and Byron. There's lots of questions about this $2.1 billion project. But today, the people who showed up wanting to get answers. All we're saying is we need to back up, look, take a broader perspective, and just see what's out there. And it's no different than life in the fact that if you can't afford something, you can't buy it. Robert Monk is a part of the Common Sense Campaign of South Baldwin County. This meeting filled with people with concerns about the project. I'm very concerned about the cost that the bridge uh, will bring on everybody for almost everything they buy in Baldwin County. The bridge project is a hot topic in the area. The toll, the main reason, Aldot says it will cost up to six bucks each way or $90 for a monthly pass. We just feel like a $2.1 billion project based on tolls, uncertain tolls, is more than, than this, this state can, can and should bite off. I think the right questions are being asked and you know they wanted to have an opportunity to answer those questions. I still think there's still some stuff to be looked into. State Representative Matt Simpson has been a vocal opponent to this toll bridge project. He was here trying to give as many answers as possible and to know what people are curious about. I don't have all the answers. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I can't just snap my fingers and say, hey, I know everything and it's going to be great. It's the best way to do it is just to listen to people and see what they have to say. Tonight's meeting here at the Foley Public Library comes just a day before the project has to clear a major hurdle. The Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Commission will meet at the Fairhope Civic Center tomorrow at 2 p.m. And depending how they vote, how that commission vote, it votes, it could put the entire project in jeopardy. Fox 10 News will be there and we'll have full coverage for you tomorrow night on the news at 5, 9 and 10. We're live tonight in Foley. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.